that's the thing I've got out of this evening is give yourself permission to play, run like a child and take life easy. And it's a really good time to invoke the imagination. So if you do like Joanne does and, uh, you know, with kids, you, know, you can really easily invoke the imagination. So you just get them to imagine they're, uh, you know, you run like a tiger, you run like an elephant, you run like a whatever, <laughs> all those sorts of things, you know. I, I have people do turnarounds, you know, so they run up and around something, they've got to do an airplane turn. So they all dip their wings, you know, and around they go and, and they just love it. So um, all those kinds of things can easily be instigated. But what you're doing is you're setting a tone for the whole pyramid and you're asking them to do things in a certain way. So it's really important when you add all these elements in at the beginning, how you go about it. That's, you, it's a setup. As a coach, you're setting them up for the whole pyramid. And, uh, and just gauging, so getting calibrated so that you can eventually get to the state of uh, continued effortlessness that Arthur talked about. And it's a, it's a peak state and it's wonderful. And uh, most people don't get to that state ever uh, or sometimes by mistake when they've been injured and they had to take a week off or something like that. But a lot of people don't get to it because they have this concept of the more is better and they've always got to have this amount of grit involved in whatever they do. And as coaches, we do a great service to start to break people from that cultural meme of constant hard work or overwork or too much. So I, I uh, liken it to the Goldilocks approach. So whatever we do, there's a purpose that we're trying to achieve. Okay, so we're setting them up for a very specific stimulus to get a specific uh, response from the body. And the way you do it is just as important as how, when, where, why, etc. cetera. Um, and uh, you need to know what you, what the goal is for that workout, what the stimulus is and what the response is that you're looking for. And then as a coach, you guide them to that because they don't know as much as you do and you can see them and read them and know them and direct that. So you're a guide on this journey for them to get back to calibrating their own system so they know what is too much, what, should, what is too little, what is too hard, what is too soft, the optimum amount. Because the more specific we are, the bigger the, um, the training effect that we're going to realize. So that's where we want to tap into that super compensation. That's what you're going for as coaches. And you, you're doing it in this stair-stepped approach. If you get out of structure, then uh, the whole thing starts to, you're not going to get a really lovely pyramid. You're going to get something else. Um, so stay in structure and know what the purpose of the workout is and then build those positive feedback loops so that when they do something, they associate that action with fun and then they produce the feel good hormones when they're doing it. It builds on itself. So um, the fat look in itself, it's not an important workout. The long run is the important workout. The speed is not a really um, important part or facet. You can pick up the speed, it develops very, very quickly. We specifically do speed at the end because it's a very fast development for most people. And so this is not, the purpose is not to get somebody speedy, it's to get them in a certain mindset and to set them up with operating correctly within those five principles.